Have you debated coming to Spain in the spring, but wondered if the weather would be nice enough to enjoy it? Maybe worried that it would be cold or that it would rain too much? Well, we just spent one month living on the Costa del Sol from mid-April until mid-May, and we can tell you that spring on the Mediterranean is perhaps the best time to visit. We weren't sure about coming to Spain in the spring. As Canadians, we've really wanted to escape the last few months of winter, and we're looking for somewhere both warm and inexpensive. Southern Spain is known for its warmth, but would it be warm enough? And could we stay in Western Europe on a budget? After lots of research and much debate, we packed all of our worldly belongings into a few carry-on bags and made the leap to slow travel around the world, starting with Spain in the spring. To get the most warmth, we started in southern Spain, in a small, quiet seaside town called Castel de Ferro. This April, we've spent much of our free time here at the beach on the Mediterranean coast, only steps from our Airbnb. Warmth in April can range from 15 to 25 degrees Celsius, a warmth we Canadians would associate with early summer. We escaped the late snowfalls that can happen all the way into May and the mucky middle of snow melting into mush. Here, the birds excitedly sing and build their nests all around us. The flowers are in colorful bloom and the trees green. In fact, April and May might be the greenest southern Spain gets in what is considered the rainy season of Spain. And while rain is more likely during April, we only experienced a handful of partially rainy or windy days throughout the month, allowing us to still enjoy many sunny, warm days. Spring is a season of renewed growth and life, not just for Spain, but it represents a new season of growth for our family. In Canada, we had gotten into the habit of escaping the cold by hunkering down inside on our electronics. With our move to full-time travel, we included mindfulness as a top priority for our family. Now we're taking the time to put down electronics and get outside. And what better way to do this than to stay only steps away from a beautiful beach filled with parks, enjoying gelato and coffee at a seaside restaurant, spotting dolphins swimming by in the distance, and taking more opportunity to make nature a fellow teacher, learning to observe a moment, taking note of everything we see. Staying in an Airbnb located within close driving distance of some of Spain's most historical and wonderful towns and cities like Granada, Cordoba, and Seville means we get to teach history while standing in the midst of it, learn about different cultures as we taste and hear and see it, learn to see a place both at the current moment and imagine it as it was. We give ourselves opportunity to revel in a moment and opportunities to create beauty of our own. It is also a season of growth for Nathan and I, as we pursue this incredible dream of full-time travel. As we take in the beauty around us, we have time to really look at who we are and what we want out of life. As we begin to approach our autumn years, we can take stock of what we've learned about ourselves, our boys, and our world, using this as a push to go after and stick to fulfilling the dreams we've neglected for so long. Finally building the life we always wanted and dedicating our time to ensuring we are ready for the future. Taking this big leap was not easy, as we know giving up the financial security we had back home for the possibility of seeing our dreams become reality is risky. Attempting to maintain a budget similar to what we had back home is a challenge, but Southern Spain has proven a great place to make this happen. In fact, this is one more reason spring is such a wonderful time to come to Spain. The ability to find monthly rentals for a reasonable price is much easier than in the summer. This would be true for nightly rentals as well. The price is significantly cheaper than the summer months. Our two bedroom rental in the Mediterranean cost us $1,200 for the month, half the price we would find in Canada for a similar property. With more growing seasons in Spain, the cost of groceries is also low and eating out can be a fraction of the cost in Canada. As a family of four, we might spend as low as $20 for our family to eat at a local cafe and up to $60 to $80 for a bigger meal at a nicer restaurant. Perhaps one of the biggest 
biggest reasons spring in Spain has won our hearts is because we can enjoy the best tourist attractions with fewer people, reduced prices, and in warmth instead of extreme heat of summer. Andalusia can reach 45 degrees Celsius in the middle of summer. For someone that loves heat, this may be wonderful, but for those who prefer moderate temperatures, the spring is your best bet. Of course, not everything is perfect in spring. We can't easily go swimming as the pools are closed until late June and the Mediterranean waters haven't warmed yet. Stores in the major tourist towns and cities are open, but in outlying towns, the stores have reduced hours. And you can expect to want a sweater for the more windy days. But overall, the warm days exceed the cold. You can usually find what you need with some simple planning, and there's much to do aside from swimming. The benefits of spring are numerous in comparison, and we have truly loved soaking up the spring vibes of Spain. The beauty of Spain in the spring has been such a blessing that we really wanted to share it with you all, so that you might also be inspired inspired to explore Spain, explore the world, fall in love with the outdoors, spend more time with your family. Be inspired to keep moving forward every further mile. Subscribe below and don't miss our last video that showed you Cordoba. Find out why it's our favorite historic town in southern Spain.